So, what are we going to talk about today? I feel inclined to ask the big question. Ask the damn big question. The big question is, what is this thing that we call spirituality? Well, it seems so easy to see, but at the same time, it's... Well, let's go to the bigger or big-loaded word, religion. Hmm. Okay? What is religion? Um, well, most people assume that Christianity is religion, Islam is religion, all these different big religions are religions, right? Mm -hmm. But what does the word religion really mean? To bind? No. Religion is a word in Latin which means a relink, to link again. So what are we linking? Well, um, it's essentially about linking small soil, soul, microcosm, to big soul, macrocosm. This is about linking small self to the big self. Now, it's interesting that such a word came along. Um, and what I would like to look at is that what does that linking entail? What is it? Why we need to do this linking? As opposed to, for example, why a cat or a dog does not need any linking. Hmm. You know, and the difference is that human beings have fully reflected consciousness. What does that mean? It means we are fully aware. I exist, I do, I think. Which means we have full independence in thinking. So if animals are always in the vortex, they're always connected to God, and we call it instinct, uh, human beings can dissociate themselves uh, from God, from cosmic consciousness, from big self, macrocosm, and by dissociating themselves and having independent thought, they can do pretty wild things, which you can easily observe by just going around, reading about history, or just walking on the street and looking at how people behave. They are independent from their soul. And since the soul in human beings is responsible for all the happiness and satisfaction, unless you connect to that soul, reconnect to that soul, you will be unsatisfied and unhappy. Now, you can have temporary satiety, you can you know, eat a good meal, you, know, you can have a good sex, uh, or whatever, you can have a good career, but the re really deep, real satisfaction will not come unless you connect your small soul to the big soul of God. And that's what religion is. And spirituality is just a new word about it. It's about the spirit rather than everything else. It's not about our body, it's not about our emotions, it's not about our intellect, it's about our spirit. And the key problem with the sp spirit in human beings is that we can ignore it, while no other being on this planet can. Even Earth, Mother Earth cannot ignore it, but we can. And we have been doing it forever. Another thing that needs to be mentioned is that this is not a negative thing which I'm saying that we can, we can um, run away from, our, from ourselves, run away from our spirit. <clears throat> uh, it's actually an evolutionary stage. We used to be, many, many years ago, maybe five, six thousand years ago, very connected to the spirit. But we wanted to experience ourselves as individuals. And we moved away from that spirit, first by becoming superstitious, so instead of being intuitive, in tune with spirit, inspired, we became superstitious. So that's where all the religions came out. You know, our relationship with God became distant. If before we were in tune with God, now we were relating to God through scriptures, through uh, priests, through different mental constructs, which means our mind became more and more prominent. And what has happened is throughout many ages, many uh, hundreds of years, 
we became really, really smart. And that smartness culminated, well, about now, in the 20th century. We became so smart that we have forgotten God, which is good. We have forgotten the bullshit idea about God. But the idea of spirituality, of linking ourselves to our joy and satisfaction, hasn't been lost. Because still, whatever you do, you will not be completely satisfied unless you do this linking. So, <clears throat> what you see now is that a lot of human endeavors which were ego-driven, uh, not properly linked to the universe, uh, are now failing. Our idea that we can build fantastic human society, the communist, failed. Capitalism is not working very well at all. You know, it, in fact, it's responsible to, for a lot of problems, and I don't want to go into that. Um, science is a, actually a cult of rationality. And many people don't call it science, they call it scientism, means pseudo-science, pretending that the people are rational when actually they are, in a subtle and not so subtle way, are irrational. Um, lots of delusions are there. But these delusions are breaking, particularly in millennial uh, generation, you know, generation of you know those who are around 20 and younger now. And in fact, this breaking down started in the 60s uh, with the baby boomer generation, uh, basically moving towards more spiritual, more connected selves, searching for themselves. And what are you searching when you search for yourself? Are you searching for your ego? You're searching for your gift from God? Well, maybe a little bit of that. But ultimately, you're searching for that link. That's all you're really doing. And the funny thing about this link is that it's right here. You don't need to do anything to get to this link. That's why, on one hand, they say the path to God is arduous, difficult, impossible, long. On the other hand, all you need to do is just jump, say hello to God, and you're off to a good start. And that's why, you know, I always you know, laugh about this, how in Japan they have two traditions of Zen. Those who believe that it takes many, many, many years of meditation to get to spirituality, to get to a realization, and those who believe in instant enlightenment. Both of them sit in meditation, but they have very, very different ideologies. You know, the same thing in modern seers, we believe in both. You are enlightened right now. You don't have to do anything for it at all. From another point of view, you have. You have to do spiritual practices. And for different people, these things are different. So some people need to do a lot of meditation, some people need to do little, little meditation. Some people have to do a lot of meditation because, you know, well, let me backtrack. Some people like to do a lot of meditation, some people have to do a lot of meditation. Some people don't like to do meditation and they don't need to do meditation. And some people don't like to do meditation but they need to do meditation. So it varies from person to person dramatically. But ultimately we all have to connect with that bigger self. That's all there is to it. Everything else is just different flavors of it. Mm -hmm.